Happy Saturday, you guys. Welcome to our gut protocol tour. So the way that I'm going to have the, do this call today is first and foremost, I'm just going to go through all of the content so that anyone watching the recording can get it all up front. And then we'll do questions at the end um, or whatever you guys want to talk about. Um, one other quick thing, this is all about gut protocol, but I will briefly show you where you can find all of this stuff for the two other nutrition courses that you have as well to be mindset and portion fix, because after gut protocol, I would recommend that you go towards one of those. Um, and so I'm going to point out where you can find those things as well. So I'm going to share my screen. Can you see uh, beach body on demand? Yes. Okay, awesome. So that's your first step. Go to Beach Body On Demand. I usually use the app if I'm being honest, but you can do it all from your computer too. And then you click on programs. Oops. And if you have gut protocol, it's usually the first one. Oh, I'm logged into the wrong account. <laughs> one second. Log in. I got it under my sister's account. <laughs> okay, so if you have gut protocol, it's the very first one. So you'll tap into the program. And if you have done nothing yet with gut protocol, first and foremost, you're gonna land on the start here page and you can watch this video. It just gives a very brief overview of the whole entire program. And then I recommend clicking on lessons and there are just four videos to watch. Definitely watch these before you get started uh, because again, it's just an overview, but especially this calculate your health one, you learn which plan you're in, which will help with the meal plan. Next, there is one video each week. So I'm personally gonna be watching it either on Sunday night or Monday morning, but you guys can watch it whenever you want. There's obviously week one, week two, week three, and week four. And then what's really cool about this program is that at the end of the four weeks, she teaches us how to reintroduce foods back into our diets. And this is specifically where we are going to identify what does trigger our bodies to react in certain ways. We're going to do four weeks of basically detox and getting it all out and then adding in something and seeing, okay, how do we feel? If we don't feel good, we'll get rid of it and we'll try something else. If we don't feel good, we'll get rid of it. If we do feel good, great, we'll keep it and add something else and kind of go from there. So that's going to be a really cool video to watch. So watch those videos. And then I usually jump right over to resources. And this is where you're going to get what I believe is a lot of the great content that you're going to be using throughout the program. So obviously, first is the program guide, calculate your health. She goes over this in that third video. Um, but if you wanted to have a hard copy of how to calculate which plan you're in, there's that resource hybrid container plan, food lists, water bars. This is recipes for different water. Uh, Treats and substitution, Shakeology bases that we can use. I love the measurement tracker. Let's open that real quick. So after this review, I'm going to talk about different ways to stay account extra accountable during this program. And this is one of the things is tracking your progress. You're going to feel different, but if you can actually see that the measurements are changing and that the photos are changing, it's going to be that much more inspiring to keep going. So I would highly recommend getting this resource downloaded. stool chart. Have you guys seen this? <laughs> I have to open it. So it tells you different types of stool that you can have and what the ideal type of poop is. I thought that was so funny. Uh, food tracker worksheet, tips to reduce and manage stress, which I think is really important because stress can cause 
everything that food can cause in our bodies, stress can cause bloat. It can cause skin issues and can cause constipation or diarrhea. It can cause insomnia, everything. So while we will be focusing on food for the next four weeks, I would really encourage you to find ways to manage stress too. Something that I'm going to be doing is doing like a journal challenge for myself every day. So every day I'm just going to journal whatever is on my brain, whether it's good or bad or mediocre. I'm just going to write something every single day for the next 30 days. Oh, vegan hybrid container and vegan food list and daily tracker. Um, so th again, this is a lot of, I already printed off the food lists for myself and then I'm going to stop sharing for a second. I did upload a photo. Have you guys seen this? The ready, set, eat your plants. So one thing with gut protocol, which I love for any, even if you're doing portion fix or to be mindset, um, Autumn suggests trying to have 30 different plants in a week. And so this, I'm gonna have one for each week and you count off how many different types of vegetables or sorry, plants you've had. And it's more than vegetables. This up here tells you what is considered a plant, including chia seeds, which I had no idea. Um, I think you say it cocoa nibs, cocoa nibs, that's a plant. Um, hummus is a plant. So things that like I had, and I was like, I could never have 30, but after looking at this list, I'm like, okay, oats, oats is a plant. Did everyone else know that? And I didn't, <laughs> so I saw it on there and I was like, uh, <laughs> so this is going to be helpful. Uh, this is uploaded both in bod groups and fit squad nation in the files tab, I believe underneath gut protocol. Okay, back to my screen real quick. Um, there are bonus materials. If you did wanna learn more about Autumn and more about the containers. Also, if anyone was in Fit Squad Nation yesterday, Gretchen made the matcha latte recipe from Autumn. So that's something that she says that you can have in place of coffee every single day if you want. Um, and then we're gonna go to meal plans and recipes because I know that if I'm not, like prepared mentally for what I'm going to be eating in the week, it will come down to, okay, it's breakfast. I'm starving. Let me go grab what's easiest. And sometimes it's healthy and sometimes it's not. So I am paying attention to the meal plans. You can see the meal planning toolkit. I highly recommend you download this. This is actually where I got my meal plan. And she talks about how she meal plans or sorry, not meal plans, meal well, I guess it's meal plan. How she gets her food at the grocery store. Um, I'm going to quickly scroll down to bracket A. So this is what her day one could look like. Breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. It tells you what the containers are and exactly what to eat for three days. This is what I'm going to be doing. And then I'm just going to do like on Thursday, I'm going back to day one. On Friday, I'm going back to day two. Saturday, going back to day three. Just because it's done for me and it's easy. So that's what I'm doing. What Gretchen has done is she calculated her plan and knows how many of each container she can have. And then she pulled up her food lists and then she made her own recipes that she wants for each day. Uh, so you could do that. That's just more work, which if you're into that, go for it. Um, now. What you can do next, what I recommend doing next is grocery shopping. So how I do it is once you have your meal plan, take a look at all of the foods that you will need. And one thing that I love about this is that she says, okay, you need olive oil, which if you were just, just to look at sauteed broccoli, you might not think of all the different ingredients that you would need. So go through it and first and foremost, see what you have in your fridge. People say all the time in pantry and all of that. People say that eating healthy is expensive. And I will say that it is when you first get like certain ingredients and spices and whatnot, but it's really not. Once you go through, you first check and see what you have in the freezer, the fridge, the pantry, everywhere. And then you just get exactly what you need. You can make it cheap to moderate for whatever foods you choose to have. Also, if you know 
that you don't want to spend a ton of money at the grocery store, I would also recommend repeating meals. So that way you can see that day one breakfast is the fixate breakfast sausage. I'm having that twice instead of having seven different breakfasts every single day. So that's meal planning. That's how I grocery shop. What Autumn says that she does. Oh, I'm going to stop sharing. What Autumn says that she does is she just goes around like the perimeter of the grocery store. And I think she said she chooses four to five vegetables, just vegetables that she either knows that she likes or wants to try. I think she said three to four different fruits and then two meat proteins and two of the other types of proteins, she says, tofu. And I think she said tempeh. She grabs those. She doesn't know what she's going to do with it, but it's on hand. And then throughout the week, she looks at the containers and is like, okay, I'm going to have a red here, a purple here. And she just kind of does it on the fly. I usually follow 2B mindset. So I am, I, the last time I used the containers, you guys, was when 80 Day Obsession came out. How long ago was that? Like forever ago. So I am like a newbie with the container. So I'm doing it just whatever is easiest for me, but you guys can get um, flexible with however you want to do it. Um, then, so that's the meal plan, all the different plants, grocery shopping, um, ways to stay extra accountable. Number one, you guys saw that sheet of tracking your inches because so it goes one of two ways. Sometimes you're going to take a before picture and then your after picture and you're going to be like, I look the same. But if you look at the inches lost, you've actually changed the shape of your body. You might be the same weight, but you look different um, or vice versa. You might feel like, oh my gosh, I like look so different or I, um, you know, the scale changed. And then you look at the, um, numbers and you can see specifically where it came from because one thing that I hear I don't know about you guys but I hear that a lot of people want to spot reduce like they want to lose weight in their stomach right or they want to get a bigger booty and only booty right and that just doesn't happen it happens all over our body so it's really good to see that sort of progress um second way to stay extra accountable this is going to sound like a no-brainer but really participate in the group. It's so easy and fun to participate the first week. And then week two comes around and we're just like, it's not as fresh and not as exciting. And we just slowly participation goes down. And that happens in all of my groups for the lifetime that I've been doing groups. So it is normal. It is something in our brains, I think, that makes that happen. But really commit to showing up every day, even if it's just once a day and you say how many plants you ate. Once a day and you share how much water you drink like whatever you want to use it for to check in. And along the same lines, it's extra motivating for you, but also others when you are engaging on other people's posts. So what I do when I log in, I log my workout or I log a meal or something. And then I take literally 60 seconds, not even that long to scroll through and I'll comment on people's things because they feel supported, right? And then you also feel good by giving that support to them. So participate on your own and cheer others on along the way will help you stay consistent with the program. You're gonna wanna keep showing up when you do those things. Um, Last but not least is if you have real life accountability. So that could be a friend that's doing this or a significant other or a sister, anyone that in your real life that you can call up and say, hey, how'd you do today? Or, hey, I'm about to eat a brownie. Come over and slap it out of my hand. Just makes it so much more uh, so much easier to stay accountable. Obviously, this is all virtual and it is my and a few others of our jobs to hold you accountable virtually, but that real life accountability is like unlike anything else. So if you do have a friend, family, whoever, um, they can either do it with you, just use what the plans that you have, or they can get their own package. And it still is $20 off this month if you guys haven't seen Um and if you are signed up as a coach, you earn 25% commission off of anyone that you sign up that might want gut protocol or anything technically. Um, so extra accountability, participate, friend, photos. I think that's it. 
So that was, a, oh, sorry. Last thing is for afterwards, we've reintroduced the foods, but after that is like I said earlier, where I would encourage you to look at the two other nutrition courses. So let's go to programs, scroll down to the nutrition center. And if you've never heard of or done to be mindset or portion fix, you can watch the introduction to nutrition and it actually introduces both programs to you. And you're going to know after watching that video, which one sounds like you one sticks with the containers and is very much uh, portion control and, and structured to be mindset is very flexible. And there's the plate it method, which is the structure, but you can pick and choose what you want within there. Um, and there's the more sure model, which is like, you can literally eat as much as you want, as long as you follow the, that model. So very different. And then you can go into one of these and same thing, they have lessons and they have resources, but I think setting yourself up mentally to do gut protocol, reintroduce the foods, and then knowing that you're going to keep going with a different nutrition program will prevent you from treating it like a cleanse this month and then going off the deep end next month. So that's what I'll say about that. <laughs> Any questions, you guys? Fernanda loves the stool chart. <laughs> Happy oats is a plant. Yes, me too. And coconut, olives. There's some good things on here. Lentils? I guess I could have guessed lentils. Potatoes. <laughs> All right. Um, so last thing I'll say about this plan is um, you'll get out what you get in. And I say that lightly because I know people that have already started, maybe you guys have seen some of the transformations of like one week, which it blows me away. I've seen people for their before and after of one. Oh, that's something else. I didn't print it off, but let me pull it up for you really quick. Um, what Autumn has on her website is a photo, you know, have you guys seen like the calendars like days one through 30 or 31 and like on social media you check off each day that you actually do the workout or something autumn has one of those but it's a selfie um let me pull it up here it's a selfie tracker so here Gut protocol, drop your daily selfie, 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 and tag Autumn and that hashtag. So you can upload a selfie so that that way you can truly see differences. And you can decide. I've seen some people do just their face, especially if you feel like your face is like you have skin issues and that you're hoping that'll clear up by the end. Or you could do a full body shot, whatever you want. But I thought that that was pretty cool. Um, I will upload that because I'm not sure that I did in Fist Squad Nation yet. Anyways, I've seen people commit to one week, like hardcore to a T, no alcohol, no, like every box is checked and they look phenomenal. But I've also seen some transformations of people that did it most of, most of the time, right? Like they, they may have slipped here and there and their transformations are also amazing. So I'm the type of personality where like, I don't like the containers because it feels very restrictive for me. Um, and I, if, if I feel too restrictive, that's when I binge or, you know, go off the deep end in some way, shape or form. So if you feel like that, it's, I'm going to give you permission to release the restrictions and release the stress around that. And you can deviate, especially if it's, if you're going to feel better mentally. And I promise you're still going to see results by following the program. Is anyone starting later? Um, yes, Leslie, I, oh, I have someone starting the 18th at, oh, Skylar, I think said she was starting 18th. There is a group starting later. So I will find out who that was. Skylar is okay. Yeah. Um, and I can connect you with her. Perfect. 18. I don't have a question, but I'm with you, Sam, on the whole, it being new. I have like a fear of like, I'm going to do this and then like stop way, like halfway through and be like, okay, I can't do this no more. Like it's scary. 
it's scary. I've never done like meal prep and that's what scares me. Like just doing all that, it sounds like too much overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I just hope I stick to it for these four weeks. I'm, I know I'm probably going to be journaling and telling all my feelings, but I'm like, my fear is there. Like I, yeah. I have a huge fear for it, Yeah. but it's just four weeks. Like they said, I think on the video, uh, somebody said, it's just four weeks. It's just like, if you're going to stick to a workout program, it's just, you know, digging into the nutrition aspect of it. So I've been telling myself that I'm just like, you know, kind of do this. And I'm, I actually have accountability partners. They said they're going to do it with me on Monday. So I'm like hoping, you know, that that helps me stay accountable to myself and, you know, holding them accountable as well. So mm -hmm. you've got this. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say this on this call, uh, but my plan, if I feel too restricted for anyone that knows to be mindset and the plate it method, I'm still going to follow the food lists and um, like the plan that gut protocol has, but I'm going to follow it in the plate it method, basically just taking away portions. Because in my mind, if we're mostly eating plants, can we really go wrong? And if I'm not having wine multiple times a week for a whole month, can I go wrong? I don't think so. So that's my backup that makes me feel a little bit better, but not having coffee every day scares me. Yeah. Keeping I the type of say that I am having coffee every day. You I are. Normally, yes, I am. <laughs> I normally drink three to five, maybe more a day. And so, but I did commit to having one. So I have one coffee in the morning and then I appease the mental part of my brain. That's like, Oh my God, I can't have coffee and still am limiting myself, you know, to follow mostly the rules. Nice. So Brandy, you've been doing it for a full week, right? Do you have any tips for the rest of us that haven't started yet? Just remember, you're not going to be perfect this is a learning process. This is a four week learning process and you're not going to be perfect, right? That there was two days that I didn't eat all my green containers and I did not give myself grief about it. Right? Like this first week is a little challenging for me just because of the, they recommend they most of your vegetables be cooked. And I usually use raw veggies to snack on. So that was a bit of a challenge, but you know, just do the best you can every day and print out the materials so you have them to reference in your hand. I will recommend that because I have picked mine up and gone through it over and over and over again, just to just to remember, just to remember what the protocol is and what I'm supposed to be doing. That's super helpful. That's why I actually printed this out because I'm going to put it on my fridge. So every time I'm in the kitchen, I can quickly glance and see what can I eat? How many more plants do I want? I think it'll be a huge win for me if I can get to 30. <laughs> we'll see. You're I'm also taking before you even realize it. What was that? Sorry. You'll get to 30 before you even realize it. Cool. You don't even be just because of all the things that are considered plants that we don't even really think about. Like you said, the chia seeds and, and, and oats, you'll find that you're in like peppers. If they're different colors, they count as different plants. So like red is one, yellow is one. If you have three different kinds of peppers in your must have meatloaf, which it called, you know, if you wanted to, then you've got three plants right there. Wow. That's good to know. <laughs> Speaking of the must have meatloaf, you guys, um, I didn't open this tab, but there's that recipes. That was, I think the one thing that I didn't open the recipes. Um, so you can go through there and again, you can see obviously what's in it, but then the containers that it equivalates to. So that would be helpful if you're, if you like trying new things. All right. Anything else, any comments or questions? Are you feeling good? Nervous, but good. <laughs> Kat says drink herbal tea or something hot is a good mental replacement for coffee too. Holding that hot cup and sipping that hot beverage. Yeah. I did the ultimate reset a few times and every time I do cut swear off of coffee and I found that for me, it's more of a comfort thing, like truly just holding it and like 
having it, especially I went on a road trip and I didn't have coffee. And I was literally, I was legit sad of like, like, why could I not have coffee on this road trip? So for me, it was definitely more emotional for them. Bone broth. Yes, I've heard that's really good. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. This is recorded. So if you have any clients that are doing it with you, I will be posting it in Fit Squad Nation so you can send to them. Otherwise, enjoy your final weekend, if you haven't started yet, of eating whatever you want. <laughs> and we start on Monday. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks again for joining.